imagine you're in middle school video production playing a teacher. Then, 10 years later, you are the teacher. Taylor Turner was a Danellan Middle School student from 2010 to 2013. Last year, she graduated from college and took a job teaching sixth grade world history. She finds it hard to believe that her former teachers are now her co-workers. Um, I feel like I still am in school here um, sometimes. Um, it's nice to have a large support system that I have because a lot of new teachers don't, and it's really nice. Great, let me see. Yellow River, Yellow River, Yellow River, AK, China Sorrow, Yellow River, Yellow River. Well, I never actually wanted to be a teacher. I am currently getting my master's for school counseling to be a school counselor. Um, and I believe that it's critical to have teaching experience so I know what teachers go through in the classroom before I was in a school atmosphere um, in a counseling position. What is something you learned in middle school that you still use today? Um, one thing that I still use today that I learned in middle school was the planner that you guys get on day one. Um, I was introduced to it day one of sixth grade and I had one all throughout middle school, all throughout high school, and I've had one all throughout college and I have one now. I just It's one place where everything is in it. You can keep track of when things are due, what meetings you have, where you need to go on this day. So it's a big organizational skill that's very important because you'll always need it. At DMS, Taylor Turner was a really awesome student. She did track, basketball, and FFA. One year, her pig won grand champion at the Southeastern Youth Fair. But her first love was softball. She played all throughout high school. Everything was going well until she was told by a travel ball coach she wasn't good enough. Well, at first, um, I was a little heartbroken because all of my friends were playing softball on that same team. Um, but with the realization and help from my mom, um, if I was to quit, then the guy would prove his point and um, then he would get his way and he would say, oh, yeah, you know. I told her she wasn't good and she's still not playing, but instead um, I persevered through, I practiced way more. Uh, the only way you get better at something is if you practice. I have a quote, it's on my wall in my classroom, it says perfect practice makes perfect. Um, so I obviously proved him wrong because I'm a national champion, so. You heard that right, she is a national champion. After graduating from Danellan High School, she got a softball scholarship to Lake Sumter State College for two years and then Florida National University. That's when her team won the small college national championship. She has worked hard for everything she has accomplished in her lifespan in school, with FFA, with softball. She works hard for everything she's had. Is there anything else you want to tell DMS? I would say no matter what, to work hard. Um, nothing in life comes easy. You have to work for everything. Um, if you start working hard now, the older you get, the easier to come. So work hard, don't give up. If something's hard, uh, you just have to practice a little bit harder. Um, it's easy to give up, so don't take the easy way out. Try to push through, even though it's easier said than done. But you guys have a lot of support here at school. All you have to do is ask.